Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is while you're watching this. Exactly three months ago, on the 1st of April 2024, Fortnite released a video called Why I Stopped Wearing Motorcycle Body Armour and went into the ins and outs of the various standards for motorcycle body armour and saying why he didn't think they were suitable. And indeed, if you look at the figures for the transmission of impact energy, you too may come to this conclusion. Unfortunately, Ryan didn't link to any of the studies in the description of the film and rather than looking at these studies, I decided to do some of my own. To this end, I got a ladder, a tape measure, a two kilo dive weight, some packing foam, an old back pad which had eventually given up the ghost through being forced into the tumble dryer too many times after riding on a wet day. I also had a bit of string. The test heights were 1, 2 and 3 metres and did involve me climbing the ladder very nearly to the top which was uh, slightly adventurous. So let's have a look at the slow motion clips and see the impact on the foam without the use of body armour. Taking the rather second-hand and three-year-old back pad, which no doubt will have some form of degradation as is a plastic foam, I repeated the tests with the same two kilo weight at the same heights. So, with not being able to damage the foam with a 2 kilo weight, I then rolled out the beast in the form of a 10 kilo weight. I'm only going to do this at the 1 meter height. And these are the results. Ignoring the two oblong indentations, which is where I didn't get a clean release on the weight and it landed on its side, you can see there's quite a large indentation in the packing foam when the weight was dropped pointy end first without the use of any armour protection. Indeed, having a closer look at the 3 meter impact point, the impact is quite deep, and, but also it, the foam has bounced back to hide the true extent of the damage caused by the impact. Looking at the rear of the packing foam, you can see that the impacts have in fact gone all the way through it, even where the weight landed on the edge. And you can see that the wood too has been damaged. There are more impact sites here than actually on the foam because I did a couple of test drops first with the uh, larger piece of foam with the hole cut in it. Looking at the foam where I used armour on top of it, you can't see any indentations at all. The rear of the foam shows no indentations either, so there's no damage actually being transmitted through. The scuff marks you can see are from where the original packaging was removed from the object it was protecting and nothing to do with the test. The body armour also shows no signs of impact damage and has bounced back completely both on the top side and on the under honeycomb side. In fact, using armour, the only time there was any evidence at all of an impact having occurred was using the 10 kilo weight at 1 metre, which left a slight impression of the honeycombing on the rear of the back protector, which would be the side facing your back. So in conclusion, seeing how much the damage is mitigated by body armour, I'm going to keep on wearing mine. Ryan mentions other injuries such as sprains and dislocations. Now armour is designed to protect against impact. A sprain is going to be caused by the overextension of a joint and a dislocation is extending a joint so far that the bone pops out of its socket. Usually it will be a shoulder or a hip dislocation, although it's also possible to dislocate other joints such as ankles. Now if I'd had an accident where I was having a tumble across the road and my knees and elbows were smacking into the road surface until I came to a stop, then I would much rather have these protected by some form of armour than none at all. And I'm a great believer in always having some form of protection. For example, if I don't use a condom, I use a false name. Anyway, it's up to you if you wear armour or not. Safe riding if you do or don't, and see you on the road or in the next film. Tatty bye for now.